Yo, the shit. Let me see you here. Like, you just woke up, like, yeah, for well, <coughs> yeah. Obviously, yeah, it's missing 200 meters in there. Yeah. yeah, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Man, like, E-Man Kellum, you get me? Yeah, like, man. Man's out here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what's your name, yeah. cuz? What's your name, cuz? Yeah, my name is Zulu. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you bad. Hey, welcome to my channel. It's Mr. 200 Meters. I'm here with two guests again. You know, we back. Um, I'm here with, on my right. Yeah, no. Official name. And on my left. Mr. Eman Kellum. Come on. Hey, so today we, you know, we know, we're going to talk about something, you know. So a lot of people asking me, you know, how do I start a YouTube? Mm, how? You know, as if I'm even a pro. So just thought you just you just tell you what our setup is or whatever it is between all of us and just just educate you guys on how to do that, you know, um how to do it in terms of your content or how you should present yourself, your setup, etc. Everything that I've been asked we will cover. Cool, let's get to the video. First of all, lads, what is your essentials? You need the camera. Yes, very that's, important. That's very true. That one. That's very true. If you don't have a camera, then there's there's no video. Mm. Just pictures, just images. Mm. It really will be YouTube mm. in your room. Just, just no you camera by yourself. That's right. Nothing. Mm. I mean, you can always. Yeah, I feel when camera is essential. Doesn't even need to be a DSLR. It can be a phone camera. Can webcam, webcam. They do 720p webcam. Like yeah. Even iPhone, iPhone. You can do iPhone. Just mm. here, like here, this iPhone. 4K. 4K, iPhones are 4K now. Yes, 4K. 30 yeah. frames per second. Back lips, <laughs> You know, Power Rangers, when they do the thing, they're like, Master Dan, that's how that's the position. Same that's that's Tiger! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, camera. That's what you need. Um, camera, yeah. Obviously, not everybody needs a Mac. Right now, we're using E-Man's equipment. Yeah. Right now, it's on the 70D uh, Canon. Uh, with a road mic, I don't know how many millimeters it was, it's very long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and right now the setup is a bit mad, so I'm gonna take a snap right now. I'm gonna take a video, I'm gonna show you how it looks right now. This is the setup in it, it's a bit funny because you know, just to show you that YouTube is not as glamorous as it looks on the screen, but you know, it's what it is. It's all about the the image, not about the setup. Right now, you know, it's what it is. You see on the right of us. Yeah. Editing software, like, um, oh, yeah. um, if you have a Mac, you usually use either Final Cut Pro or Premiere. Or Premiere. Um, some well, people, a lot of people use iMovie, yeah. yeah. Um, if you have uh, Windows. I'm Sony Vegas, man. Yeah, Sony, Sony Vegas. Vegas ah, well, yeah, big guy. Believe me, Jack. I think it's complicated. It's not Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas is the simplest, it's the simplest of simple. Simplest I know, but for me, yeah, when I start, when I first, when I first opened computer, Sony Vegas was what I had. Uh, tutorial. And tutorial, then it downloaded man. head day. You know that's before. I before I, you know I was still Nigerian. Okay. <laughs> you know I was still Nigerian. You know that was. So I'm still I mean, back in finance, still in finance. I'm still Nigerian. So when I saw Sony Vegas, I was back. I said, what kind of concombilities? What kind of what is that? Oh but yeah, like editing software. Look, invest in some good software and um, be creative, man. People always think that YouTube is like a really complicated thing, um, and it really isn't. It's something that is whatever you have, and you're really passionate about creating content. I want to reach out to people, make it happen. Um, you don't necessarily always have to start the best quality because it's a journey, and I think being a YouTuber is a really nice thing, thing to look at someone's journey, like you know, to see someone grow, whatever it be in their quality or whatever. Like, some people, some YouTubers, you see them grow beards, you know, all the time, you get it, So, just be yourself, relax, mm. and then, uh, what else? Relax and relax. Just have a dream, just chill. Mm. Just relax. Yeah. Take time. Eat mm. some Gary. Gary and peanuts. Mm. Just mm. chill. Yeah. Milk and Gary. And ice. Yeah. From what? Milk and peanuts. This guy doesn't know. Milk and Gary. He doesn't know, but... You lot are. I don't know Gary Sokins. Ask your father about Gary Sokins. <laughs> Why is the boy looking at me? But yeah, guys, get a tripod. Mm, yeah, tripod's is key. I didn't even have a tripod to start with. Shoeboxes, um, isn't it? No, not even shoeboxes. Um, you know, old video cassettes. <laughs> like, I think, I think, no, 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 I think, I think, I think every, I think every African still has like videos of course. in their yard. I'm so sure. like the old video cassettes, they were mad thick. So I'd yeah. stack them up and I put my camera on top. Uh, you know that's risky, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that balance. Because mm, if you just go, forget but, it. That's it. It's, it's over. Yeah. Don't cry, don't beg. So all the over. Disney cassettes uh, just let loose your camera finish. That's it. <laughs> I, for me, like I don't know, yeah. For me, I don't really. Sometimes I don't like buying brand new cameras in it. Like for a lot of YouTubers, in it, YouTube, YouTube is like something that you start with, like basics. 
in it. Like, mm -hmm. You don't necessarily need a lot of money to start YouTube. I mean, you need a substantial amount of money sometimes for most cameras, but don't feel you need to go and get 5D Mac free because mm -hmm. you will not know how to work it. Mm -hmm. You know, That's you true. just look silly. You'll be, your focus will be focused. Yeah, like I see bad people with nice cameras, but it, the, the, the video that like is auto focus. The video will like be using a webcam from 2014. Exactly. So obviously, quality is important. Um, but obviously, be realistic in it with what you have, mm -hmm. and don't be afraid to work what you got. Like you know, like if you look at my earlier videos in it, you see that the lighting sometimes is up down, up down. But it's all about the journey. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm still bringing you content, making you laugh. That's what that matters. Even, even getting a getting a camera that has like like the 70D has a flip screen. Mm -hmm. Um, if you don't have that, when I had my 500D, I was using a mirror. I just got a mirror and I put it behind, so I can mm. see if I was in focus or not. And that's how I recorded my videos. So, that's um, so I didn't think of that. Did. <laughs> One more. Yeah, every video was a risk. <laughs> Every five minutes in the video, I press my focus button. <laughs> yeah, it goes shh. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, and you want to maintain your position, so you have to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you're, you're using your foot. Yeah, he's like, I've done that. What time I've done my toes before, really? That's what time I'm finished. Oh, the, the most annoying thing about that is that when you record the whole video, they actually have to record it again. It's out of focus. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, so you have to record it again. Like, I, did, I did one back in the day, and it was just the whole video was out of focus. It was an amazing video, but it was out of focus. Word. That's like me. I had to delete one because it was a burn in my chest. I won't even watch a, I, I, I struggle to watch videos like imagine like the focus is right there and oh, that would just make me vest. Do you get it? So yeah, do whatever works um you know for you guys in it. A lot of people are scared of what to produce and what do I do when I come on YouTube. Um, I'm gonna let you guys what what would you what what would your advice advice be to people that don't know what to do on YouTube and how to approach it, you know? Well, I'd say first off, make an introduction video. Like just like let people get to know you. That's that's a that's a good start. And you can also use it as like your channel trailer. So when every time a new person views your channel, you can see oh this is what I'm about. And also don't don't feel pressure to like go and create content that other people create. If you have a theme that you know is dear to you, stick to that theme. Do what you know feels genuine to you. Then. Don't try and you know don't, don't try and be something you're not. Yeah. yeah. Just be a real person. Yeah, be you. Be so, really so go off that yeah, like there's a lady, there's a there's a YouTuber that I I collabed with this year. Her name is Mo Chunks, but her YouTube is more like a show. She calls it a Mo Chunks show, where she talks about the real world topics. But like she's she she does it as if she's a presenter because she's mm -hmm. trying to present in it. But like I really what I liked about that is because I never seen anything like it's specifically the way she did. She talks about like stuff like marriage or you know heavy topics that for for older people even though mm. she's not that old but it's stuff that she's passionate about and she built she built I think I don't know how many subscribers have but she built a good amount like a good audience just based yeah. on doing things that I never saw before from a person of that age. She's like I think she's like 30 now it? but she's pretty close to our age and it's like don't be scared to do what you want to do because you feel like you want to blow very quick in it. Mm. Before I get to E man like my advice to you would be be patient with your growth like don't expect it to happen for it to happen just like that but your time will come if you just do your part in it or make content like based on your reality as well like maybe you could make something like that you don't think people are going to care about but someone can either see that video and be like raw this is what someone's doing or this is how someone's living or someone might see it and be able to relate to you because a lot of people try hard to be this whole ukulele, din din din. Hi guys, and today I will to catch. Oh, yeah. No, like, like, no, like, no. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> I just bought this from Pandora. Yeah, like, no like, shit, no shit. No, 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 please. Don't even come for me because I know how some people just love to turn everything. They like to stir the, the meat in mm -hmm. the pot and they think everything's shady. It's not it's shady. I'm just being honest. Like, just true, be yourself. True, like, if you're true. if you're from the hood, don't carry yourself stupidly, but embrace your hood roots. Word. You know what I'm saying? That's where your followers are come from as well. Yeah, like you get it. People, you're you're surrounded. Mm, people watch you and be like, "Raw, that guy's like me." Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You gotta be relatable and don't sell out. Explain what you, what you mean by sell out. Don't, just don't sell out. Like know 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 who you are as a person. Isn't it? 100, 100. Know who you are as a person, and don't allow. If if you do earn revenue from YouTube, don't allow it to um, yeah, yeah. influence and compromise your identity. And remember who's helped you get to where you got to. You know what I'm saying? Your audience have supported you, or just respect your audience as well. Like if you're gonna do a branded video, just be real about it. Like it's true. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I respect about Nello. I think Nella did a review of a week of, of, of some hair one time, mm -hmm. but she was really honest. Like she said, she she said that how what parts of the hair she didn't like, mm -hmm. 
and you know that probably cost her maybe that supplier but it, it, it would have gained her lo lots of trust. trust yeah. Yeah. Integrity, the yeah, integrity of is still there. And that's like, don't ever trade your integrity in it for money. For a buck, like, yeah. Get it. Like, when you make it on YouTube, when you start getting to those places, just, just remember where you came from and like, would you, if you're on the other side of that screen, like you're watching somebody, would you, if you were part of their journey, imagine you've grown up with someone on YouTube, mm -hmm. like, and then they, you, you feel like they've just, just they traded, sold out, yeah, yeah. Like, sold out, like, bam, that's, that's, and it's, I know it's like, it's real life though, isn't it? So, mm -hmm. But yeah, um, it's very important as well to like, it's very important to know what your audience like as well. So when you do develop an audience, it's about respecting them. And if like, if something interests them, then try to do it a bit more. They, they might like it or share it with their friends and all of that stuff. And it's very organic, it's very good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't like, and if you're going to work with a brand, don't work with a company just because they're there, they're willing to pay you a check. 100%. Like, do it so if it relates to your audience. Think, can your audience benefit from this? Would your audience maybe be interested in purchasing this? With that 10% discount code? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because everyone's just slapping their discount codes everywhere because right. they're getting a the commission. But then people don't notice that. You only notice what's relevant to you. Mm, yeah. yeah, and they don't really care. So they watch it now and they see that they're like, ah, oh, next. Becomes that clutter. Yeah, yeah it's just clutter. clutter on top of that. Mm. And also keep in mind when you do get to work, as you get bigger and bigger, the bigger brands do have money. Don't let them take you for an idiot. Because right. a lot of them do have money and they'll try to, to, to start slow, but you just know to stand your ground. Say for socials as well, um, a lot of people have wondered, uh, a lot of people ask me like, I see you Snapchat a lot for your YouTube, you know? Like, how do I use my socials to optimize my YouTube followers and subscribers or whatever? Um, for me, that the one major thing I've benefited from um, I was, like first of all, when I made my YouTube, I had a bit of a following on Twitter. I never had a following on Instagram like that was that large, but Twitter was my biggest platform. But like for me, I never tried to just use Twitter, my audience from Twitter, just to make a YouTube. Um, I used I used that at times, but I wanted YouTube to grow by itself, so people like me for what they see, not rather than who they've heard of on Twitter. But at the same time, Snapchat is a really useful platform in actually engaging with your users. Um, it's as simple as people can message you if you choose for them to be able to message you or if anything they can watch your life and it's like when people were able to look at your life off the camera yeah. they feel like they they wanna they wanna watch you next because like yeah. for me and Enam for example like I know we edit a lot we shoot a lot so it's like we're always putting up on our snaps and people are always asking like what's that is that new content what's this what's that so everyone wants to be in the loop all the time and it helps you in every platform so your Instagram will grow your YouTube will grow your Snapchat will grow everything will grow so you know just don't be nervous to like expand like market yourself really well and look at yourself as like a brand did you get it? like 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 Iman said in it like. Brand yourself well, you get because you have to look at every as aspect of what you're doing, but don't sell yourself out. Like do everything you know for what's what's right to you and to the people you're trying to reach out to. As well, I feel like I feel like Snapchat's a really good platform um, because it shows your audience that you're human. 100%. Um, when you're not really active on socials, um, I think uh, it kind of blurs the line in it because like because I'm a bit bigger and um, because I've tied into TV and stuff. I don't like the whole celebrity status thing that YouTube kind of has and this whole thing where people think like you're this amazing god, you have no emotion, blah 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 blah. Like they forget you're a human being and you have feelings, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like Snapchat kind of breaks that down, like they see that you go like, I don't go to uni because I'm on my gap, but like when you're, you're doing your stuff, they see that you're a human being, you go to lectures to yeah, you, you revise to you, you're grinding, you you're no editing sleep. videos, yeah, yeah, yeah. no sleep. It's relatable, man. Yeah, they get you, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's 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 a great thing. I think it's good to show that your audience that you're a human being, so yeah. And Instagram Live's a great tool as well. Yeah, yeah. Some people get a bit comfortable though. Some people get very brave because they know you're seeing, you can see it. But it's one of those yeah. ones where, just to use the tool, man. Hundred percent. It's a good tool. There's so much. There's so much out there that's so, so useful. So, like for me, like I like see the Instagram Live. I use that like kind of like ITV. Like I imagine that's like my BBC. Like I don't use Instagram Live every day, but when I do it, I do it like so. There's an objective, use for it. So then, to so the people I can't reach out on Snap, I just have Instagram. That's an opportunity for them to get to know me a little bit better. You know, so obviously in everything you do, just think about it a little bit more sometimes. Maybe it can be a bit strategic, but just don't lose yourself and try to be strategic. Don't over strategize things, you know. Now for me, a lot of my videos are very, very like capricious. So, you know, have an idea and I sit down and do it. Um, sometimes it has to be like that. Sometimes you have to plan. So don't be too set in one way. Have a structure, but don't, don't be too set in 
just trying to do things just because you need to produce content i always believe quality over like everything okay so be happy with what you want to put out because would you be happy watching that so um make, yeah. make content with your friends um if your friends are if you're lucky enough to have friends that are youtubers as well don't be shy to make content with them um it's good to make like you want to make content with your friends because you won't get bored and it's better because it's better than it's better to grow with your friends than to be alone yeah. uh, to be big and alone you know what i'm saying true so make content with your friends and don't don't just jump on it for the money man because there's times when youtube will just crash and then the ad revenue will be poor you won't be making money from it and it might dishearten you but you should definitely like it for the passion man do it for the passion do it for the love of your art man and it's way here when like for me because you guys know who I chill with, all my friends are like, everyone's creative. Not everybody does YouTube per se, but like in my squad alone, in this room alone, there's not just us we sitting here, but like there's a lot of people that do YouTube in the background. Um, and it's like, it's just amazing to sit around with people that are like-minded because it makes you more comfortable. Um, a lot of people, you know, kind of like stiff on the camera because they're nervous. But imagine you eventually you have a lot of friends that do the same thing, you know, you feel comfortable to, even if it's to vlog outside, you feel comfortable to vlog, you know, like, cool, nobody's going to judge you, you get it? You know, so, yeah, man, just be comfortable in, you know, what you do, you know, bring your friends into it, support your friends as well. It's a big thing, support your friends as well. And, yeah, don't be scared to do your own thing, because um, it's easy to just be a sheep these days, man. But do your own thing, be true to yourself, man, you know? That's our advice to you, you know, so yeah. yeah. I was just gonna say, any knowledge that any knowledge that you gain from doing YouTube, don't be stressed about just show. Show people. Or if, you, yeah. if you found a, a good editing software, if you found a good source to find like well, royalty free music um, for your YouTube. Actually, that's one thing as well. When you're doing YouTube videos, oh, yeah, copyright. copyright, that's a big problem. They will problem. catch you and just, mm -mm. They'll just they want to steal your money. That's true. <laughs> So when you're making YouTube videos, try and yeah. find royalty-free music. Mm. There are loads of websites you can Or just find. email people if you want to use their music. Yeah. It's as yeah. simple as that. Like, like work with producers or artists that aren't signed that yeah. would be willing to do Send it. your music. Yeah. So, yeah. Everyone could just go up together, man. It's as simple as that, man. Yeah, it's, true. it's true. Do whatever you feel like doing. Like, there's no set where you don't have to just be chopping it up exactly like every YouTuber. Yeah. Do whatever you want to do, man. Do whatever you want to do. Be happy, man. And anything is content. Like, recently, if you look at my story, um, if you look at my thing, you see lots of varied videos. Like, cool, you might have a gaming channel, you so you want to concentrate on games. But if you're a channel which is just like an open channel, where you just want to, like, you just, it's just you. Like, if you want to, you know, you're feeling one day to shoot a tutorial on something that matters to you, make that content. Anything can be content. Don't be afraid to limit yourself based on because other YouTubers are not doing that. Yeah. Um, you're not other YouTubers. So yeah, do your own thing, man. Do yourself. Do yourself. And don't judge, like, I'm going to leave you guys with don't judge your own progress to others. That's it. That's it. Yeah, different. That's it. That's it. All right. We are finished. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to my guys on my left and right. I'll put their stuff in the description box. I might write it here if I'm feeling like editing properly. Um, also, please, ladies, I'm looking for a wife. <laughs> <laughs> I know Mr. 200 has the best. You understand? So. <laughs> Who said men are trash? <laughs> Who said men are trash? Hello, uh, oh, the video is ended now. Oh, yeah, 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 we need to go. We'll see you guys later. We're going to go after a party. Bye. Take care. Mm. Laugh as if you're going on the frame. Let me see how much space we have to work with. Ha 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 ha. Okay, hold on. What was that? I'm a satire, bro. Are you lit up well? Can you see yourself? Um, do you want more direct lights? It's all right, Dad. Just give you more direct lights. Yeah. Hey, lights <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Yo, Drink Gary and milk. Gary with, Gary with milk. Yeah. Uh, when you speak in tones, then yeah, you're not speaking tones with Gary and milk. Hold the phone of course. It's like 5G. <laughs> 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 you are crazy, bro. You are. I'm available. Tell a cat girl I'm untraceable. Brain of my side thing, sensational. Me and TC, movie like Soprano. Game 7 in his back, Ronaldo. But looking like it's from Chicago.